A hundred thousand years ago, far in the depths of Paradox Space, a new life form is about to be created. One whose origin is as enigmatic as the glimmer of a muscle beast's teeth. Some are carried in by storks, some are recreated from Paradox Slime, others pirouette out of their best friend's magical non-existent vagina. But regardless of how these beings may be born, they all come into the world with a special force. One called... Love. This is the story of one man's search for love and truth in a universe forgotten by time. The story of those fearful creatures. Those that we call... Babies. everyone my name is jane crocker and john just showed me this rock opera that he said was totally like oh my god dirk what are you doing on the floor writhing in pain i'm pregnant but how is that possible who's the father jane shouldn't that be pretty fucking obvious hold it right there for just a diddly two in second this is exactly like what john showed me let me guess there's a tiny baby version of me swirling around inside of you as we speak no jane the baby is me. me. They're disappointed. I know. Oh my God. Dirk, oh, you're pregnant. You how did this happen? Here? What happened? Yes, Jake. Oh my God. I don't I know how you did, did it, but apparently the baby-making skills of an English here? aren't oh, hindered golly, by the laws of human biology. Oh, yeah. Dirk, Dirk we gotta celebrate this with a fucking song. Roxy, no. Come on, don't start this singing stuff while I'm literally kicking my own insides. Okay, fine. I always have some shit. Thank you, Roxy. Jane will sell us off then. Wait. God damn it. No. Sitting around in the middle of No, seriously, don't. Okay, fine. Good, because my water just broke a few minutes ago and it's extremely painful. Wait, uh, what? Fuck. Dad, Shit. Why didn't you tell us earlier while we were congratulating you with a song and dance number? You guys looked like you were having so much fun. Jesus Christ, unbelievable. Just. Unbelievable. Well, fuck, we gotta get you over to a hospital from pronto. No, I'm going to deliver in a horse stable, and that is non-negotiable. And we need to get there right now, because holy shit, I swear, baby me is trying to torture me right now with this unholy childbirth pain. I mean, come on, do you think you're horse Jesus or something? Hold on, Roxy. Dirk is right. Calliope! Callie! Oh my god, Callie! What the fuck are you doing here? I've missed you! I couldn't possibly miss such a momentous occasion, and I've been sitting here far too long to not take an active role in the birth of your child, Dirk. Um, that's awesome, I guess. That's why I must become what I was always going to become. The midwife! Oh, fuck! What's wrong? Callie, I'm trying to kill myself from the inside right now. You gotta help me. Don't worry, dear. I have the perfect solution. Are you going to teleport me to the nearest horse stable so I can unload myself, surrounded by glorious, muscle-bound, hoofed animals? No. I'm going to give you drugs. Drugs. Fuck it, I don't even care anymore. I just need something to stop this horrible pain. Anything you can give me, Callie. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be doing this for some, so, you know, heads up. Anyway, let's kick it. Barbiturates would go down great in Oxycontin by the crate of Vicodin and aspirin, some Vioxx and psilocybin, methadone or opium. Surprise me that with something fun, some angel dust, some LSD, a dozen tabs of ecstasy. 
Chris old man for a crocodile Some bath salts and some fentanyl Some nutmeg for that nutty thrill With cough syrup and Benadryl A pot of blue, a can of paint Experimental opiates I chew some metal, lick a toad Eat sarpa, salpa, bilolote Oh Cali, please I'm in a jam I'd even take Benazepam I'm begging, pleading, fill my veins Just something please to end the pain I'm sorry parents, don't be mad Never kids that drugs are bad. Honestly, I'm starting to think it may be a bad idea to give you any- Just give me the fucking drugs, Callie. Ah! There's no time, Dirk. Look, we're already at the stables. Oh, thank God. Now the horses can comfort me with their whispered neighs and muscular stature. And ah! Oh. Is it over? Is it, is it safe to come out? Yeah. It's, it's a baby. Oh wow! Congratulations, Dick! Congratulations! 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 Thanks, everyone. You know, looking into my little baby eyes just after having given birth to myself has really opened my own eyes. I feel like I know so much more about myself now. God, Dirk, what the hell are you on about? It's just... I've always had a problem with splinters of myself. Oh boy, this splinters, alternate gone. versions of myself Ten always popping up, showcasing my deepest, gone. darkest flaws and causing trouble for everyone ending. I love. I used to think that it was some sort of bizarre manifestation of my own self-hatred. And it still is. It's no secret that there's a lot about myself that I can't stand. I can't stand how I have so much trouble being up up front with any of you guys, always hiding myself behind splinters or unfathomable layers of irony. I can't stand how I completely fucked up my relationships with just about everyone here at least once because my pure, boneheaded stubbornness and my complete inability to handle what should be a normal social dynamic. Hell, I can't even really stand the color of my eyes. Have any of you seen them? Look, look at baby me real quick. They're stupid looking and slanted in orange for God's sake. I don't know about you, but I'm about 99% certain orange is just about the least cool color and I can be. Dirk, we've been over this. Your eyes look fine. And today isn't even self loathing Saturday. You can air out your grievances about yourself then. Right, sorry. The point is, I look into baby me's eyes and I don't hate them. They're innocent eyes. Eyes that haven't been hidden by callous dark triangles. Eyes that haven't searched one soul and found a rotting core a million times over. Eyes that haven't looked straight to the eyes of a friend and asked for 30 different drugs. And I realized, I have to stop hating myself. I have to accept myself. And what better way is there to accept myself than physical integration, augmented by my abilities as a prince of heart? I, I, I'm not sure I follow, Dirk. What exactly do you mean by physical integration? Jane, I'm going to eat my baby. Wait, what? Oh my god, Dirk, what the hell? Dirk, why in the blazes are you eating your baby? Jake, I know this seems a little bizarre. In fact, it probably is downright esoteric. Dirk. But I think I can explain through an ancient art form almost as told as time itself. Dirk. Rat, 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 rat. Jake, I'll admit this is kind of bizarre, but I need you to understand the way things are. This baby is me, and I'm the baby, and that's why it's currently on the table. Eating is vital process for me. It's timeline due to race probably will be. When I eat, I'll end this circle of madness, and no way will this diminish my randomness. Dirk, this entire motion is insane. The puppy cookie spew is not coming from your brain. We should at least, you know, talk this through. After all, the baby isn't just for you. As the parent here, I claim co-custody rights. We shouldn't have to divorce Dirk, our shit is so tight. 
yet. Neither do we split the baby in half. Derek, let's just cool down and listen to some phonograph. Jake, I just don't think you understand. Paradox space has always been forced in my hand. I need to do this to regain control. I won't let it make me have mine to roll. So what does any of this have to do with eating your baby? Heart powers. Yeah, but how does that even work? Such is the magic of Skya. Derek, come on. There has to be a better way. Can't you see that? This is the only way, Jake. <sighs> Look, how about we talk about good parenting practices instead? I've got a book here about them. That shouldn't be too hard to do. When the baby's in the crib, yes. drop it like it's hot. What? Drop it like it's hot. No. Drop it like it's hot. Dirk. And when the baby's out of the crib, no. eat it like it's hot. Dirk. Eat it like it's hot. Stop eat it. like it's hot. No. Dirk, stop eating the baby. Look, all I'm saying is babies probably taste better fresh. Just stop it. Look, it's just a toe. A little shit probably won't miss it. You just ate another one. That's like another seven. Now it only has six. Look, Jake, I respect you as a partner, but this is literally me. I need to finally accept my destiny and eat all the babies. All of them. Dirk, you're a complete batshit puppycock insane. But I love you. What are you doing, Jake? Don't let Dirk eat the baby. I have to let Dirk do this. This is the only way to let him regain control of his life, Jake. You have to understand. Ugh, he's using his bullshit heart magic against you again, isn't he? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No. Dirk, stop trying to distract me by eating the baby. So it's decided. The baby is to be eaten. So, yeah, I'm just gonna eat my baby then. Dirk, as your husband and co-parent of this baby, I support your decision, but I am still disappointed in you, because God damn it, you're eating my child as well. Of all the things I hate about myself, taste is not one of them. I taste damn good. God damn it, Dirk. You're eating my baby too. Oh, Dirk, why? God, do all babies taste this good? <sighs> Because I'll be honest, this makes me want to eat every single baby in the human race. Dirk, this is a little nude, if I'm being quite honest. That's it. I'm going to have to stop fucking drinking again just to get that image out of my mind. Stop this at once. Oh. Dirk, stop eating your leg right this instant. I don't really see anything out of the ordinary with that, actually. Dirk, why? Hmm, that was delicious. Hey, guys. What the hell just happened? John, what are you doing here? When I heard some crazy baby stuff was going down, I came as fast as I could. Where's Dirk and his baby? Well, to make a long story short, Dirk ate his baby, and the baby was him, and now we're all a little bit dead inside. You guys are kind of depressing, aren't you? 